Hi everybody! Welcome to another video! Today we're sewing the beautiful Dawn jeans! I've never worked with denim before, I've never made a pair of jeans. This is a new experience for me, but I want to um, have a go at it because that's what sewing is all about and I want to take you all on the journey of how I made this pair of jeans. For this pattern, I bought this really, really gorgeous heavyweight denim. I've washed it already and there's been a few bits and bobs that I bought specifically for this project which I'm gonna show you and then we're just gonna jump straight into it. For this project, I bought a pattern, denim needles, buttons, top stitching thread, rivets and two and a half meters of denim fabric. That's 68 pounds and I was genuinely shooketh when I added it all up. Blissfully unaware of exactly how much money I spent on this project, I started things off by ironing my fabric because I had left it in the washing machine far too long and it was very crease. Then I measured my hips, which don't lie, and I was confused because I was between a size 6 and 0, so I ended up grading between 6 and 2 just to make sure my jeans would not end up small. Once the tracing and grading was done, it was time to pin the patterns to the fabric. Now listen, if I could give you a piece of advice, it would be that you follow the grain line and the layout for how to cut the fabric pretty strictly. I went freestyle with the layout of the patterns and ended up wasting fabric and time. So that's not good. So just follow the instructions and don't be a rebel. Uh, but look at how cute the pocket fabric is. Anyways, prepare yourself for a lot of cutting and when I say a lot of cutting, I mean a lot of cutting. Okay, let's get it started started. I can sew a pair of jeans. I hope I can. The pressure is on to not have wasted my money. Here we go. First thing on the to-do list was to stay stitch a few pieces just so they don't stretch. Then it was time to move on to the buttonholes. I started by making sure that I transferred the markings as accurately as possible from the pattern, only for me to have to do the buttonholes for a million times because my sewing machine was having a day. It's not a buttonhole, I'm confused. I'm gonna try and rectify this. I've managed to make some buttonholes that actually work and are big enough and are in the right position. And here's the message. Sometimes sewing is difficult and frustrating, but perseverance is key. Not only in sewing, but also in life, because life can also be difficult and frustrating. So keep going, don't give up, it's the message. Do not give up, because you'll get there. It might take two hours and a lot of frustration and wanting to punch something, but you will get there. <laughs> Once I had the buttonholes, my friend, it was time to rip them open and move on to fly closures. I hope I'm saying that right. The fly closures were honestly a lot of stitching, pressing, more stitching, more pressing, some more top stitching, but it was all very satisfying work, you know. I mean, look how beautiful that looks. If you told me six months ago I'd be able to do this, I would have not believed you. Once the fly closures were done, it was time to move on to the front crotch, which was a case of stitching the two legs together and then top stitching it as well. This alone took me hours and hours and hours of figuring out, but I'm so happy. I feel like I've learned so much and it's really pushed my skills. So I'm hoping that the next bit is gonna be easier. I don't know, <laughs> we'll see. With a newfound confidence in my skills, I moved on to the pockets. Now listen, there's a lot of pockets on these jeans, so there's a patience needed for this. The pattern starts you off with the front pockets, which was a case of pressing, stitching, and top stitching. Okay, so here I was attaching the denim pockets to the actual pockets that hold your belongings and your stacks, and it was uh, definitely a little bit like putting together IKEA furniture. So, you know, it's worth taking your time and having a snack nearby. With the front pockets, I wanted to make sure they would sit as flat as possible so they didn't peek through. 
And finally, after hours of figuring it out, I was done with the front pockets. I love the gingham with the denim. It looks so cute. I'm flying high, but I'm also flying low <laughs> because I'm just looking at these guys and I feel like they're a little small. I keep putting them against my legs and I'm like, are these gonna be too small? And now I'm freaking out because I've worked really, really hard on a pair of jeans that potentially might not fit me. I just don't know. Once the front pockets are done, it was time to work on the back ones. And there's a bit of pressing and pinning required here in order to give you a flat pocket. So I took my time with that. It was my first time sewing these kinds of pocket and I wanted a flat pocket to match my flat booty. <laughs> I'm joking, it isn't flat, there is something there. There is something there. I'm about to put the back pockets on and I just realized that I do not have a lot of top stitching thread left So I'm just gonna go ahead and top stitch as much as I can Hopefully I can top stitch both pockets. I don't know if that's too optimistic I've already ordered some more thread So I'm waiting for that to arrive in the post and when it does arrive we'll just carry on with the project But for now I'm gonna try and top stitch this back pocket one down, another one to go. I did it! And with a little bit of thread left. Come on, somebody. Once the top stitching thread arrived, I moved on and worked on the yoke. This was thankfully pretty straightforward and was just another case of stitching, pressing and top stitching. And once that was done, it was time to attach the two back pieces together at the back crotch. Okay, so that's done. Now it means we have to attach the front to the back and this is where I will find out if this fits. When putting the front and the back together, I was like, dang, are these legs two different sizes? But no, you start at the crotch and pin the inner leg and it looks weird, but it's supposed to look that way. Once the inner legs are top stitched, the next thing to do is to pin the legs at the sides. Okay, so we got the jeans, they are all pinned and ready to be stitched to the sides and looking at them I feel like maybe they aren't as small as I thought which is really really good so the plan is to go ahead and do a basting stitch and try them on and see what adjustments I need to make let's move on Thankfully, the jeans did fit, praise the Lord, because I had just spent 68 pounds making it, so that was good. And I even took them in at the waist, which makes me think that next time I should just go with a size 4 to save myself the grading and the drama. Look at them. Look at these tiny little jeans of mine. I get emotionally attached to every single thing I sew. It is a no joke. I just do. I just want to hug them and I just want to tell them that they are loved and appreciated and they're going to be well taken care of. <laughs> After declaring my undying love for a pair of jeans, just like any normal person would, I made belt loops and attached them to the jeans. Then it was time to attach the waistband. The waistband is made up of two components, so you attach the first one, stitch it and press it, and then you attach the second one on top of the first band, making sure it aligns properly. Then you stitch it all around and at the edges, and open it up and press it, all ready for some top stitching. Once I had a really nicely top stitched waistband, it was time to finish off the belt loops by pressing them and then top stitching them. The jeans are almost done. They are looking really, really nice. Um, but there is three things that I must do. Number one, sew a buttonhole. Yes, the final buttonhole must sit here. Then I have to actually insert the buttons, which I've never done before. Then I have to add rivets, which I've never done before. Really am excited to finish them though. <laughs> I feel like these jeans, uh, you know, took something from me. <laughs> they took my sweat and tears, but honestly, I tried them on and they look really, really nice. So I'm really happy. For the buttonhole here, I drew a buttonhole like the artist that I am, zigzag stitched it and hope for the best. 
And then with inserting the buttons, it was a case of making a hole in the jeans, just like 2020 made a hole in the economy. And then I hammered the buttons into the jeans. Three more. <laughs> It was a very similar process for the rivets. I actually found a very useful tutorial on how to insert rivets, which I shall link in the description. I sound like such a YouTuber. Inserting those buttons and rivets was a first for me, and I was genuinely so proud of my little old self for doing it. Yeah! Yeah! I got a button and I got a ribbon and I'm feeling good about life. Yeah! <laughs> now, uh, 20 more million rivets to go. Uh, but I'm gonna go ahead and put the rivets in and then I'm gonna hem the jeans and then I'm gonna show you guys uh, the jeans on my booty, okay? <laughs> All right, see you later. this video up I just wanted to give you my honest thoughts on this pattern and um, the dawn jeans Woo! Um, okay so number one the instructions are really clear the sizing is really good um, I love that they're high-waisted um, I love just just how good they look they look just really really modern um, and there's just so many ways of like customizing so check Instagram out for that because it will give you lots of ideas next time I do these jeans I'll switch buttons for a zipper because I feel like a zipper will hold things in place a lot more than buttons I don't feel like the buttons are holding things in place and I just feel like there's just a lot going on here does that make sense so yeah I think next time I'll do zipper so maybe consider that if you're thinking about this pattern. This is my honest thoughts. I hope this is helpful. And I shall see you in the next video. Thank you so much for all of your support. Thank you so much for subscribing. I have been so overwhelmed by all the comments and all the love I've been receiving recently on my channel. You are such cute bonbons and I appreciate you and I really wish you all the best. So see you, take care of yourself and see you maybe in a week's time. Bye.